All right. Hello, guys. This is Giggity Rooster, and I am uh, taking a bit of a break from TechIt, and I'm moving over to a little bit of Minecraft. I uh, I haven't played Minecraft in, I want to say, two or three months. So uh, it's been interesting experimenting with all of the new uh, updates that um, that have happened since since uh, since those two or three months have gone by. Um, so I've 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 had a lot of fun, and I built a lot of cool things. Um, up there is is something that's um, that's not so much new update uh, related, but um, whoops, but uh, I think it's also pretty cool. But I I don't really want to show it off yet because it's not finished. But um, what I have here is a maze, and uh, yeah, so it's just it's just basically a maze with a lot of traps, and I just want to show it off. Um, so there's two paths when you get down here, and we're gonna take the run on the right first. So you're going down here, and now you have this long hallway, and here's the first the first fork in the road. Now uh, we have two levers, one there and one there, and if you're not looking up, you can't really see the lava dripping down from that one. But this one is a fake one. Nothing happens if you click this one. It's just a lever with uh, really nothing on the other side. Um, but this one, if you pull it, lava drips down. And uh, let me just stop that before it gets out of control. And um, so what it is, is uh, it's really simple uh, piston. Um, so down here, uh, I don't want to break that. So that block right there, I don't know if you can see here. Let me put a torch down. There, that block right here is um, is the one with the, the lever on it. And it's activated right now, and it's always activated. And um, it re sends this redstone signal up here, down here and uh, in the back of these two pistons. So these pistons are always active... Uh-oh. No? Why isn't that... Uh... Oh, did I put... No. It doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense. Oh. Whoops. Yeah. I messed up on a test run, and um, I accidentally broke one of these blocks, and I didn't really know how to fix it. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, I guess I didn't need that piston there. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> so... The redstone signal goes in the back, and um, it basically powers these, which um, which holds these blocks in place. Now, what's uh, right above these blocks is the lava. So, yeah. So, these blocks are always activated, and when you hit the lever, you basically deactivate the, the redstone signal. And, um, and uh, yeah, pulls the blocks back, and the lava falls down. So, now, once you come into here, I know you guys can't see anything, because it's supposed to be like that. And it's perfectly dark, and there's a little bit of water right here for some reason. You don't know yet. And, and, whoop, let's do it again. <laughs> there. Fire chargers come at you. Let me put a torch down and show you what this is. Whoop, that's the pressure plate. Ah! Um, so right here what we have is we have redstone signal underneath the pressure plate. And, uh, what this does is it sends a signal to all six of these dispensers. Um, it's basically just real simple. Goes up behind these, uh, behind these these dispensers that all have fire charges in them. And what the fire charge does is it, uh, it basically just, it, it's, um, it basically does, like, the same damage as, um, as an arrow, but it sets you on fire as well. So, uh, so yeah. So it's a, kind of a secret piston. And all of these traps, you can't really, you can't really die from them, because there's always water nearby. It just, it just damages you. It, there's no way to really die from any of them. So, um, you realize that that's not the path, and you go back down, and you come over here, back to this place. Now, here's the one on the right. Actually, let's just go down here. So, basically, the idea is if, if you're stubborn enough to not go down either one of these paths, you just sprint all the way down. You see the turn to the end. You just fall into this pit of lava that goes all the way to the bottom of uh, the world. So, now you come over here, and um, you see two paths. Let's take the one over here first. And now it's pitch black again, but that's because... At the end of the stairwell is a very, very, very long hole that, um, that you really, you can survive the damage because there's water there, but, um, you really have to dig your way all the way out, and, um, it's a really good trap because at the end of the staircase you really can't see. So, um, now we come down here, and, um, this is another stairwell, let me put a torch down, uh, and it's just, um, uh, it's pitch black, but, but they're all fake staircases. Um, let's go back up here. And yeah, that's basically it for this for this um, for this part of the the maze. Now let's come over here and um, come down here, and you basically see a long hallway right here. So you activate your sprint, and whoop, 
there's a giant uh, flowing lava thing that is blocked off by these blocks, and you can't see it from any direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump through here. Ugh. And there's water right here, so you can't really, uh, you can't die. And you come down here, there's nothing here. And right there is a fake pressure plate. Nothing there, nothing there. Um, so now we come down here, and we have these things on the wall. And um, if you knock them off, then you can take the item frame and the pork. Um, and behind here is a little more steak. Actually, it's steak, not pork. Um, now what we here have here is a jumping puzzle. Now what you see at the end there is um, is a uh, is a door. And you think that that is the room in which you need to go into. So uh, what these things are for is because you need to sprint. Um, you also need uh, food in case your hunger bar is low. So you need sprint to complete this puzzle. Um, I think. I think you need sprint to go across three blocks. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go like that, that, and that. Pretty easy so far. Um, you also need to jump across that with only one block. Um, and uh, pretty much a standstill sprint. And what we have here is we have this block blocked off, um, basically. And um, so it's pretty hard to jump across, but it, it's 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 possible. Uh, I can't I can't seem to make. I used to be able to make this jump. Um, oh, yeah, you just kind of like skip across the lava, and you can't really can't really hit it. And if you jump back, then uh, I didn't make it. But um, even if you do uh, do not uh, pass the lava, then there is still water right here. And you go over here, and you click this lever. Up, oh, there's nothing there. Um, this. This whole maze is basically just, um, I mean, there's there's really nothing here. That's the that's the best maze there is. Um, so yeah, um, the best maze is just a fake maze. Oh, that's not the way. Over here's the way. All right, you come back, all the way back, and basically, what the secret room is is it was right here. Um, you can't you can't even get to here without using the maze. Or you can't even get to here while using the maze. Uh, it's actually just... It's from from a house, maybe. Um, a portal that... Uh, or like a, a... Just a hole that you can go down um, in order to get to here. But you can't get to here from the maze. But this is the secret room. This is just a fake maze. Um, that's I think that's the, the best way to, to hide a room. Is just to make a face, fake maze. And then a, and then a, a way down from your house. Um... The the more tricks, the more believable it is. So so uh, make a lot of like make a lot of traps and um, like mine and uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to make more Minecraft videos. I think um, I think tech is fun, but um, but I think I'm a little I'm I might be done with that series. Um, I might do one or two more episodes and then I might move over to Technic, which is a little more complicated and it uses uh, Thongcraft, which I've never used before, but I've been watching some tutorials and it. Uh, it might help me out, and I might uh, might better understand it now. So, uh, yeah, Minecraft and Technic coming soon. Maybe a little bit of Tekkit. And so, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe for more content. And uh, peace, guys.